Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So a lot of you have been asking for a Game of Thrones bonus video, like a nice long one like I used to do when the season was going on. So this is going to be all about the Citadel. That's the place where people go to learn to be maesters. The show hasn't spent a lot of time there yet, so I'll start with book stuff that they've already skipped, and then I'll explain how the show might be able to use it in Season 5 and Season 6. We're almost in the home stretch in terms of the show coming back, so I'll also explain what my bonus video schedule is going to be at the end of this video. And the giveaway is continuing. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. I'll just be naming new winners every time I post a new bonus video. So now everybody pull out your maps of Westeros and scan all the way down to Old Town. Right down here in the Reach, Old Town, this is where the Citadel is. There are disputes about who deserves credit for creating it, but the books suggest it was a person named Prince Paramore Hightower, also known as Paramore the Twisted because of physical birth defects. He had a malformed spine that made him hunch over and one of his arms was never fully developed. He was kind of a Tyrion type character. Very highly learned, but very put upon because of the way he looked. His father was King Uther Hightower. They lived around the same time that Brandon Stark, Brandon the Builder, was alive. This would have been somewhere in the early years after the Long Night had ended and everyone started rebuilding the kingdoms. And remember, yes, because Aegon the Conqueror had not united the Seven Kingdoms, there were still a bunch of different kings all over Westeros. The High Towers at the time were just very, very powerful, very rich. King Uther, as part of this big post-war rebuilding effort, hired Brandon the Builder, or one of his sons, to rebuild what he called the High Tower. That's like his castle. It used to be made of wood, but he had it remade of stone. It was so big that it became one of the seven wonders of the world. His son Paramore, because he wasn't ever going to become king, he was the second son, chose to spend his money patronizing academia. So he had people from all over the world, wizards, mages, sorcerers, Anyone who was highly learned come to Old Town so that they could learn from each other. When he died, when Paramore died, his older brother became king and granted the land that they had been using to those people that his family had been funding. They were the ones who officially created the Citadel and the Order of Maesters. So before that, the Maesters hadn't existed. It was just a much more loose association of scholars. After they got the land and they formed the Citadel, it became a formal order. Some really fun facts. So we met Kyburn at the end of Season 4 on the show. He is not a maester. He was excised from the order while he was studying to be a maester because of the work that he did in necromancy. Originally, whenever Prince Paramore first started bringing scholars to Old Town, he was open to just about anything. Nowadays, though, maesters frown upon magic and the dark arts. There is an archmaester for the study of magic and the occult. In the books in present day, his name is Marwyn the Mage. Each of the links that a maester forms in his chain is representative of an order of study. They just It's like 16 different chain links, I think all representing the different metals known to man. The coolest being Valyrian Steel. That's the one that represents magic in the occult. When you want to learn one of those disciplines and form the link in the chain, you go to an Archmaester. They're basically like the masters of whatever that particular area of study is. But as an Archmaester, they also gain the right to sit on the Conclave. That's the governing body of the Citadel. They're the ones that appoint the Grand Maester, who is actually Grand Maester Pycelle on the show right now. The reason they wear chains is just to represent their life of servitude. It's more of a symbolic thing. Like they're not actually going to get chained to stuff unless they get chained down in the black cells. Which Tyrion actually did to Maester Pycelle during season 2. For those that are asking though, no there is no obsidian link in the chain. Obsidian technically isn't a metal, it's more of a stone that you carve. You might also know it as dragon glass. That's what Samuel's dagger was made of, the one he used to kill the White Walker. Some of you may not know that Oberyn Martell, for instance, studied at the Citadel to become a maester for a while. He formed six links in his maester's chain before he got tired of it and quit and went on. He's an amazing man, but he has like a really short attention span. Although technically six links is not a short attention span, that takes a lot of work. Becoming a maester is kind of like taking the black though. You're entering a life of servitude, so if you're a noble, a member of a noble house, it's usually frowned upon. But if you're a normal lowborn person, it's actually a pretty awesome thing to do. I feel like where we are in the books right now, like in present day, before Winds of Winter, the Citadel is becoming a much bigger part of the story, but on the show they've almost completely avoided it. Because most of the characters are looking for knowledge about, you know, dragons, white walkers, ancient magic, there are very few places they can go to get that. There are scrolls, like at the Night's Watch, Samwell, you see him trying to read scrolls, but usually they just fall apart whenever he touches them. So the Citadel is one of the only places that you can go to learn more about that. Marwyn the Mage, actually in present day, would be the person to talk to just because he's the Archmaester for magic and the occult. But since we haven't seen him on the show, it's entirely possible that they've completely cut him out. So now I'm just going to talk a little bit about Season 5, Season 6, where I think the show can go with the Citadel. So just careful for spoilers for everything up through Season 4. It remains to be seen whether or not we're actually going to go to the Citadel in Season 5. I've seen a lot of sets that look like they could be the Citadel. 
I mean, it sits on the honey wine, so it's like a big stone building that sits on a river. I've seen some sets that look like that, but I think they're mostly for Dorne and the Bravos locations. Most of the people associated with the Citadel in the books are secondary characters, and as we've seen, like Young Griff for instance, the show tends to cut a lot of things out. Arian Martell is probably the biggest example. Typically what they do in those situations though is, is they take the storylines and just give those parts to other characters. So it's possible that they could give like the Citadel Marwyn the Mage part to Tyrion in Season 5. I'm really hoping they don't, but based on some of the behind the scenes images for endpoints, you know, like really spoilery stuff that I'm not going to post here just because it is super spoilery. I do think that we will see a very particular Samwell scene at the end of Season 5. For those that have read the books, just use spoiler tags if you want to talk about it. It really gets you excited for Samwell's character though. I really am hoping they don't dramatically alter Samwell's story. As far as we know, if you're following along in the books, I think that Season 5 will largely take up most of books 4 and 5. There'll probably be a few things that they won't do, they'll save for Season 6, but for the most part they'll end with the ends of books 4 and 5. If you do want to catch up and you're not like a big reader, I'd recommend listening to the audiobooks. You can totally get it all in before Season 5 starts. The cool thing about the Citadel though is that it's such a place of learning that it's like where you have to go to get books on stuff. So like Tyrion wants to learn more about dragons, has to go to the Citadel. Kyburn wants to learn more about necromancy, has to go to the Citadel even though he was kicked out. Really I think that they will have to go there at some point and it's an amazing location that we haven't seen yet. When the show does go there and you know fingers crossed that they actually end up doing that, I think logically what they would do is they would show us the high tower first. It would be like seeing the Titan of Bravos, you know like this giant wonder of the world. The Citadel is very impressive, but when you're talking about physical landmarks, like little things that look amazing from a far distance, it's really the high tower that you want to see. Just imagine one of Daenerys' dragons or like Drogon perched on top of the high tower in like season 7 or something like that. That's just my fantasy. That hasn't happened. That's not like a book thing or anything. Really, when everyone thinks about dragons coming to Westeros, they're always thinking about King's Landing. Old Town is just one of those other big, really notable locations, especially in terms of Westerosi history. Let me know, what do you think though? Do you think that we'll actually see Old Town on the show? Like we'll see the Citadel on the show or do you think they'll just cut it out completely? I think right now in terms of other big forces, the show is prioritizing the Faith of the Seven just because they cast the High Sparrow and he's such a big character. It makes you think about the War of the Five Kings in this really different light. So like you have all these different lords and kings fighting over the same territory. But then on another level you have these supernatural forces like the White Walkers, the Great Other, and the Red God fighting each other for control of the world. And then on another level you have all these organizations pushing their own agendas like the Faith of the Seven, the Citadel, the, or the Conclave of Archmaesters at the Citadel, the Iron Bank, and the Faceless Men. I think as we get to each new season they will take time to kind of push new organizations to the forefront. Like in Season 4 the Iron Bank was a big antagonist to Stannis. This year in Season 5, the Faith of the Seven is going to be a big antagonist, so it's totally possible that in Season 6, the Conclave of Archmaesters could also be a big antagonist. It's all going to be a lot of fun, so don't worry, even if the show doesn't go there, we still have Winds of Winter. Marwyn the Mage though, keep your eyes peeled for Marwyn the Mage. I am so excited about that character. I think one of my favorite things about the characters, whether it be on the show or in the books, is when, you know, lesser characters get this mega call to action that dramatically alters their trajectory. Just as a quick update for other bonus videos that I'm working on, just because I spent so much time talking about Citadels and Maesters, I think my next bonus video will probably be for Kyber, just because he is such an oddball in the books. He's so much fun, we've only seen a little bit of him on the show, so I will talk about both book and show stuff whenever I do that video. I'll try to post that next week, so be sure to subscribe to get it. If there are specific bonus videos that you guys want to see, like specific topics, just leave requests in the comments. Like, I'm always happy to get to everything. We have about 12 weeks, a little more than 12 weeks before the show gets here, so we're almost in the home stretch. Congratulations to this week's giveaway winner, Layla Willow. You win a $20 Amazon gift card. Be sure to message me on my channel for details, just so I can get your contact info. Right now, if you're on your mobile phone or on a tablet, there's new mobile links you can click on up here. I think it's over here. It's the same as the links over here. But you can click here to learn about another big organization in Season 5, The Faceless Men in Bravos, And click here for all my other Season 5 bonus videos. Thank you so much for watching. So let's all high five. I will see you guys tonight.